So how did how did that happen last year then? We went looking quite early on and we found one that was absolutely disgusting. Like there was damp up the walls and just porn everywhere. It was gross. So we went to the next house and in comparison it felt really nice. Um, So we just said yes straight away just thinking there was nothing else nice out there. Um, Then we all moved in and there was damp on these walls and our landlady skipped a couple of legal rules um, and would just photocopy the previous tenants. um, What's it called? Contract. Tenancy contract and fill our names in, not even changing the details. We're not even sure if she put our deposit in the safety deposit place. We think she might have been putting yeah, it in deposit her, protection. We think yeah. she might have been putting it in her bank account and getting interest of it. Because when we asked where it was, she was like, "Oh well, I can probably get it for you. We were like, you shouldn't be able to do that." Um, and then the house we didn't know when we signed up for it was already for sale. So she was selling the house while we were living in it. Then she sold it while we were living in it, and then didn't tell us until like four days before. And it just so happened that the damp in one of the rooms had gotten so bad there was mushrooms growing. And she rang up, and we were like, "Okay, we're not going to let you sell the house until you deal with the mushrooms." And she was like, "Well, we can just make it really hard for you to live there." And we were like, "I can't believe you're blackmailing us." So then she was like, "Okay, fine, we're going to get a painter in." And we were like, "Well, it's illegal to paint over." mushrooms so <laughs> she got like a proper guy to come in and then sold the house now our new landlady is lovely but has no idea how bad the house is hey oh my don't do it don't rush in